Hello everybody, it's Aaron back from Screen Stars and I'm here to do another review for Geek Legion of Doom and today I am bringing you my review for the 2016 Russian war drama I Am a Teacher also known as Occupied War and this is a film, and I'm probably going to butcher this name but I'm going to try uh, is directed by Sergei Mokritsky um, and I'm not going to try and pronounce the actors' names here because I'm just going to butcher them terribly. Um, and like I mentioned, this is um, a Russian language film with English subtitles. Uh, if you're not into that sort of film, then you probably won't be into this. However, this is a film that's set during the Second World War in a European, European occupied country that has been occupied by the Germans. Um, they're reasonably passive. Um, and the local villagers have just kind of learned to live with them. However, there is um, the captain of the Nazis has taken a particular interest um, in Pavel's soon-to-be wife, um, Anna, um, which worries Pavel greatly, who is the local teacher. He thinks it's his calling in life to teach the local children he doesn't care who occupies he will still teach whoever is the occupied force if you like so he doesn't care he's quite passive about it he's not that fussed however there is word given to the Germans that there is um, a Russian paratrooper uh, been spotted in the hills and they are intent on finding them however this Russian paratrooper finds Pavel the teacher before anybody else um, and they kind of make a pact together that Pavel the teacher will help this Russian sniper take out his targets because it will benefit them both um, and that that's essentially the story that we get here there are other things going on there is um, um, Anna's got a 13 year old son who doesn't like Pavel very much doesn't like the Germans very much obviously um, and and any as any 13 year old would do makes some pretty rash decisions when it comes to um, his interactions with the local Nazis right so what did I think of I am a teacher well I thought this was actually a really nicely made film um, foreign language films are usually really expertly made from the most of them that I have seen and this is no exception with very very top-notch performances by everybody looks beautiful it looks authentic it looks realistic you believe that you're watching this take place in the Second World War um, times look hard you know people get their milk delivered by children carrying it around in little vases and things buckets of water to wash yourself in um, and it all looks really authentic and feels very authentic um, the the building of the characters here is pretty subtle uh, and quite a slow burn I mean initially Pavel the teacher um, is a fairly one-dimensional character and you don't like him particularly well um, because he's not got much of a backbone doesn't put any kind of fight up he just wants to live a quiet life Mariana try and raise the boy even though the boy doesn't like him and do his best and teach children however the occupying German force are not going to make that easy for him and he is left really throughout this film and at one point in this film he's left with very very difficult choice he doesn't really have a choice but he has to get involved and he doesn't really want to um, but he's just he's not a soldier he's not built for that sort of thing so he has to do some difficult things in this film to try and protect his family um, and that's the pull here is this is it's almost watching this character evolve from what he was to kind of what he becomes he has to become everything he kind of hates um, to save those that he cares about to some degree and but getting from A to B is is quite a transformation to, um, and I really enjoyed the character development for this character it, w it really worked very very well because initially you don't like him um, and there are a few points in this film he really frustrates you in some of his actions um, the German officers and stuff are to do what German officers do you know make you not like them um, and yeah I've got to say I was suitably impressed with this film 
Um, I thought I don't think it's for everyone. It is quite a slow burn, um, and it's not what you would call you know brutal. You know, you watch some Second World War films, and they, they can be overly brutal or you know really vicious and shocking. And it's not like that. It's fairly subtle in its approach for the most part. Um, but it, it, the story grabs you, you and grabs your interest, um, and it looks nice as well. It's been directed very, very well. It looks very pretty. The cinematography is really pretty to look at, and like I said before, the performances are all believable. I believed every single character in this film that they who were they were supposed to be. So I'm going to give it a seven out of ten. It's uh, a very well made film. I enjoyed the story. Um, and I enjoyed the outcome at the end of the story as well so yeah um, I hope you enjoyed this review thank you very much for watching everybody and of course we'll see you next time for another review on Geek Legion of Doom thanks for watching